In this presentation, we will understand assignment operators in detail. So, without any further delay, let's get started. The first topic of this presentation is introduction to assignment operators. The second topic is assignment operators. And after discussing the above two topics, we will discuss the homework problem of this presentation. So, without any further delay, let's get started and let's see the first topic that is introduction to assignment operators. So, what is an assignment operator? Assignment operator is an operator which is capable of performing operations and assigning values to the left operand. This is what I've written. Performs operations and assigns values to the left operand. So, not only it is capable of assigning values to the left operand, but it is also capable of performing operations because an assignment operator is a combination of assign operator and the other operators. Now we will see the entire list of assignment operators we have in Python. So let's see the complete list of assignment operators. The first operator is assign operator, which is denoted by this single equal sign. We are familiar with this operator. The second operator is add and assign, which is denoted by plus equal. The third operator is subtract and assign, which is denoted by minus equal. The fourth operator is multiply and assign, which is denoted by star equal. The fifth operator in this list is divide and assign, which is denoted by backslash equal. The sixth operator in this list is modulus and assign, which is denoted by this mod symbol and then equal sign. The seventh operator is divide, floor and assign. So it's a floor division and assign and it is denoted by two backslashes and then equal sign. The eighth operator in this list is exponent and assign which is denoted by two stars and equal sign. The ninth operator is bitwise and and assign which is denoted by ampersand and then equal sign. The tenth operator in this list is bitwise or and assign which is denoted by this pipe symbol and then equal sign. The eleventh operator is bitwise XOR and assign, which is denoted by this circumflex symbol and then equal sign. Twelfth operator is bitwise right shift and assign, which is denoted by these two arrow symbols towards right, that is two greater than symbols and then equal sign. The thirteenth operator in this list is bitwise left shift and assign, which is denoted by two less than symbols and then equal sign. So, these are all the different assignment operators we have in Python and we can use these operators according to our needs. In this presentation, we will understand the working of few of these operators because it is redundant to discuss all these operators again. We are quite familiar with these operators. Hence, it is not a good idea to discuss all these operators again. For the sake of understanding, we will discuss few operators out of these. We will understand how assign operator works and how add and assign works. And then we will also understand how bitwise XOR and assign works. And the rest of the operations can be performed in the same way after understanding these operations. Now let's understand how these operators work. The first operator is assign operator, which is denoted by the single equal sign. And the job of assign operator is to simply assign the value of the RHS expression to the LHS operand. First, the RHS expression will be evaluated. The result of the evaluation will get stored within the LHS operand. And this storage is performed by the assign operator. Now, let's understand this with the help of an example. For this, we need to open our command prompt and we need to activate the Python interactive shell. Now let's type x equal to 10 and now we need to hit enter. Let's type y equal to 20. Hit enter. Let's type x equal to x plus y. This expression is an assignment expression because we have an assign operator here. The RHS expression is x plus y which will get evaluated first. The value of x is 10 and the value of y is 20. 10 plus 20 is equal to 30. This means that the evaluation result of the RHS is 30. Eventually, 30 will get stored within X because of this assign operator. So, if we hit enter and now if we type X and again hit enter, we'll get 30 as a result 
because 30 is stored within X. Now let's move on to the next operator, which is add and assign. This operator is capable of adding the left and right operands and storing the result in the left operand. So first it adds the left and right operands and then it stores the result in the left operand. Let's open our command prompt, type x equal to 10 and then we need to hit enter, type y equal to 20, hit enter. This time let's type x plus equal to y. So in place of x equal to x plus y, now we have x plus equal to y. They both mean the same. So x plus equal to y is equal to x equal to x plus y. Eventually what will happen? First these two operands will be added because of this plus operator. So addition will be performed first. So add and assign works the following way. It adds the left and right operands first and then it stores the result in the left operand. The left operand is x and the right operand is y. First it adds these two operands. So first 10 and 20 will be added. This will give us 30. Now it stores the result in the left operand which means that 30 will be stored within x. So eventually if we hit enter and if we type x and if we hit enter again, we will get 30 as a result. I hope this makes sense. Now let's move on to the 11th operator in the list which is bitwise XOR and assign. Bitwise XOR is denoted by the circumflex symbol and then assign operator is denoted by single equal. Now let's see what bitwise XOR and assign is capable of doing. First it computes bitwise XOR of the left and right operands and then it stores the result in the left operand. So it is capable of computing bitwise XOR of the left and right operands first and then it stores the result in the left operand. Works like add and assign but in place of addition we now need to perform bitwise XOR of the left and right operands. Let's understand this with the help of an example. Let's open our command prompt once again and let's type x equal to 10. Now we need to hit enter and type y equal to 20. Again we need to hit enter and this time we need to type x bitwise XOR equal and then y. First bitwise XOR of x and y will be performed. Bitwise XOR of x and y will be 30. You can check this on your own. First we need to convert these two values to their equivalent binary forms and then we can perform bitwise XOR of these two values. Eventually we will get the binary representation of 30 and as we know if we print the value of x we will get the decimal equivalent of the binary value which means we will get 30 as a result. Now if we hit enter and if we type x and if we hit enter again we will get 30 as a result. Because eventually x will hold value 30. After bitwise XOR of x and y x will hold value 30. I hope the concept is completely clear how these assignment operator works. The rest of the assignment operators which we have not discussed in this presentation works the same way. After discussing the assignment operators, now we will see the homework problem of this presentation. What is the output of the following code? So here is the code and now you need to determine the output of this code. Your job is to find the answer and I request to post the answer in the comment section below. We have understood what is an assignment operator and we have discussed some assignment operators in detail. Also, we have seen the homework problem of this presentation. This means we are done with this lecture. Okay friends, this is it for now. Thank you for watching this presentation. I will see you in the next one.